Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 is closer than ever, so while the clock is ticking, I'll be covering the latest upcoming season leaks, which includes so, so much. With that being said, let's hop into the video. We are getting so close to 50,000 subscribers, it would make a big difference if you do hit that button and turn on all notifications. Since I do give my subscribers as much as I can, so do be sure to comment your Epic Games ID down below, letting me know what you'd like from the Fortnite item shop. Me and my cat Maya would greatly appreciate it if you could join my discord in the description down below next season's theme may alternate between a samurai season a spy season or something else that i'll be talking about throughout this video but a new home screen concept has been revealed and it looks insane it suggests options of features we have already seen throughout fortnite in the past but in an easier format that personally i think looks so much more visually appealing the concept is inspired by valorant and overwatch so whether or not fortnite steer into this direction we'll be finding out about all of this very soon a first look onto the battle pass has been leaked, taking the angle of a lizard style skin called Thunder. Even though this skin has been leaked for a while now, we haven't seen different edit styles for this skin as of now. However, I can actually imagine Epic Games will most likely be making this a tier 70 skin, as we know tier 100 skins seem to be following some sort of pattern of well-known or detailed skins, as most of us will be grinding going towards the tier 100 skin and its edit styles. But since we're talking about skins in the battle pass, we have got even more chapter 4 season 2 skins found in the files and these look unreal. Even though I like the look of all of them, it's quite difficult to, you know, work it out to see if these skins are all in the same battle pass for the foreseeable future since they aren't in the same theme, which questions which direction Fortnite are really going in. Don't get me wrong, as I said, they all look really, really good, but I also question how this will affect the storyline. One of the latest teasers that Fortnite have showcased is a bunny outfit slouch on a Neo motorbike, similar looking to the previous showcase I showed you with the first Battle Pass skin out of the three, which puts me onto the next topic of a Neo theme season. Next season, we can expect a futuristic theme as Neo Tokyo being the baseline POI of the season, similar to Neo Tilted from Chapter 1 Season 9, as we enter the Mega Season being the name of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. Additionally, the Drift Remix skin follows the style of this futuristic approach, as according to Sheena, this outfit is the new outfit, however, this is the only style of the skin that we've got our hands on so far, the actual outfit will look much more like Drift that we've seen earlier in Fortnite, and it will look like it has a unmasked style. Onto something a little more interesting, the rift gate has been destroyed, which has ultimately left the rift behind, potentially bringing back loads of familiar returns to next season. Although the rift may have been destroyed, this will leave rift POIs around the rift from the crack that we will be seeing in the trailer next season, as we will not be witnessing a live event at the end of this season. Not only that, but other POIs have been found too. The Cyber Dragon, the Dojo, Hot Springs, Loot Island, Neon City, and Zen Garden. Even though these may or not be POIs that are named, it's almost certain that we will be seeing these locations appear on the map at some point next season. What we do know is that the Loot Island POI that I've just gone over will be caused by the Rift Portal, presenting us with a floating island in which you will be able to teleport through the POI. I'd love to see where it teleports us to, but for now, that's all we've got here. Going back to the Battle Pass skins, a possible Tier 100 skin is here for us, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. The attack on Titan has recently been leaked, as Fortnite are edging an Attack of Titans collaboration, and as we know, Fortnite do love collaborating with anime. This is definitely something I can see happening, but as far as skins look, this is not only terrifying, but quite inappropriate. A theory suggests that Zero War Gino will be teased at the end of the Season 2 story trailer. However, he won't be part of Season 2 itself, but in fact set up for the future. How will this play with Jonesy and the other part of the Seven? There are certainly more theories going into the future of Fortnite, however I think it may be useful to go over these theories once the season has officially launched. Some of the weapons are very interesting to take a look at, as we have a few new weapons being the new pump shotgun with a different version, and a new Ranger AR with a different version too. Hopefully if it's anything like the Neo season we saw in Chapter 1, then these weapons could be extremely fun to use for all of us. We also have some sort of smart pistol and the rope and chains grenade launcher. 
out of all of these weapons, which will you be using the most? Additionally, a katana will be coming too, with a separate sense of attacks, a dash attack, a slam attack, and it can be obtainable from certain spawners. This is thought to be from a new type of chest, but it could also be from a mythic chest as a mythic weapon. And the Riftgate portal will play a huge role in the live event going into next season. As we know that this season's live event will be under the name Astral, we can also expect some sort of outer space experience just like what we experienced with the Travis Scott live concert. But talking about season 2 of chapter 4, we have got some very interesting teasers to cover right now, so make sure you guys are listening and staying tuned. There are three hidden images in the spectrogram for the cypher quests, and the cypher quests are brand new quests that are coming to Fortnite, which I'm going to be talking about later, but these sounds related to a tuning communication device. If you look closely, one of the images looks like a seven helmet in one of these images, but more specifically, it looks like the legend, which does make me wonder what role he will actually play this season going into next season. But a very interesting theory does suggest that according to the Stellan, the refined kinetic ore is what allowed the shapeless man to haunt him again after centuries. But in the end, Stellan claims that the shapeless man actually beat him and won, so we will most likely see him in the rift in season two what are your thoughts on this series guys another thing to look forward to next season is we could be seeing a heavily water themed base update as the artist drew hill recently posted artwork for a battle jet ski meaning that this has been proposed to epic as a possible future water vehicle epic have actually used his concepts before and at the back of the jet skis you can see multiple different things you can see a rocket engine which i assume this means this this uh, vehicle itself will be much much better than a normal jet ski alone but also a potentially a lot better than a boat too because this engine will be very overpowered but we also have these red looking missile launchers which means it could be a huge overpowered weapon we could be using too but with the return of water themed additions to the game Midas's return becomes much much more promising as you guys do remember when he did of course die he died to the shark in that water season so maybe this is Epic Games' way of introducing the reintroduction of Midas. The clock is certainly ticking and the countdown is on. I will be updating everyone who has my channel notifications on with the latest Fortnite content. I wouldn't want to miss out personally, so subscribing is pretty inevitable, am I right? To further support me, make sure you are leaving a like on this video as it does help me so much. That's pretty much everything I've got for today's video. I do have my social medias like my Twitter, my TikTok, Discord, all that stuff in the description down below, so do be sure to check that out. And I also will have a video on the screen right now. If you guys want to see any other videos on the channel, check my channel out. But that's everything for now, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.